So as I'm sitting at my desk and just completed getting ready for the day, I'm reminded about the questions that I get. Why be better? Why did you choose to say that? Recently, one of my girlfriends was telling me that her perception of be better, is, it almost feels as though you're not good enough. You just gotta be better, be better. Um, and I never thought of it in that context. In fact, when I remember how Be Better Platform and Be Better was born, uh, created, it, it came from a place of actually having lost a proposal. We didn't get this big project that I really, really, really wanted to get my hands on. And I'm sure you've had that feeling where you think, gosh, I could have nailed that. I could have done such a good job at that. And why didn't I get that? Um, and I kind of spun out with that a little bit because I hate losing. I hate not getting the opportunity to support clients and better their brand because that's exactly what I feel I do with my team. We make things better, at least we endeavor to make things better. And the reason I like better is because it's connected to you and your choice. Better isn't in comparison to anyone else out there. It's, if at all, in comparison to you and your own trajectory. Sort of better is this place that I think of that leads to greatness, right? But it flies in the face of perfection. And I think many of us feel overwhelmed by the amount of information and the amount of competition that is in this world. Other people doing exactly the same things that we're doing and we're feeling like we're never gonna be that good. So kind of chasing perfection is what gets in the way of better. Be better is very much about this space of acceptance, evaluation, and action. Daring to do something better being relentless in the pursuit of betterment. And so I think that's really exciting because it's about you and I being the best that we can be, doing the best we can with what we've got. And that takes a lot of acknowledgement and acceptance and a lot of awareness, but not just intellectual awareness, but also just like an emotional intelligence where you know that the things that you've been through and the things you're getting and the things you're not getting are all sort of leading you to a space of awareness and understanding and betterment. For us, uh, when, we, when we lost that giant gig that I really, really wanted, it was a really complex situation because I had lost the project. I wasn't given that part of the project but I still got the client. So now I had to work with the client on business and brand strategy, but somebody else was hired to execute on it. And so now that muscle of rising to the occasion and just being better meant that we were kinder, more gracious, understanding. My communication had to be that much more precise, understanding the complexities of what was needed. And it really forced me to get to the point where I embraced that what I do and what it is that the essence of my team is, is about being better. I'll give you another example because this is really cool. When you think about teams, right? So even if you don't have your own team, the people that you collaborate with, the people you, um, you work with, they're coming to the table with the best that they can bring, right? The best versions of themselves. And your job, our job with each other is to let other people do the best that they can do with what they've got. And so as a leader in that conversation, if you're stepping into that self-leadership space, you have the ability to push people to better themselves, to see around the bend, to build an awareness of what else is possible. Being better is about being curious. It's about being interested in the person, the project, the team, what else could be. And of all the things I love about Be Better and why I named the platform Be Better Platform, 
that is the reason. Because I want to be curious about other professionals. I want to be curious about other people. And I want to learn from them. And I want to challenge myself in ways that I've never challenged myself before. Because I think that collectively, when we aim for that, we make ourselves better and we make our communities better and we make our lives better and our planet and that's really a worthy thing to pursue. So next time somebody tells you to be better, maybe you can reframe it for yourself. Maybe that can be something, yeah, what else is possible? Don't allow yourself to be judged and don't judge yourself. Allow yourself to evaluate where you're at and what else is possible. And from that place, I wonder where you can grow. And that's really thrilling to think about. Have a great day.